happens and they didn't even know. And it's been re-released and been a success again. Put them back together again. So what is the world getting like? In what aspect? Well, just society, life. It doesn't seem to be as happy as when, when I was younger. When I was young, it seemed people were happier. They were. So why are people... They had not... less. People were bogged down with possessions and um, the internet is good and it's bad. Um, it keeps people in. People don't know each other on the street and that anymore. When I was younger, you, you knew where people were drunk. You knew where they hung out. You'd make a phone call, you couldn't get them on the phone, you'd hang about until they turned up. But now everybody wants everything done, just bang on a minute. Sorted. What has happened to the world? All it's doing bringing stress onto people and making them unwell. That's why half the country's on Valium and antidepressants. When I was young, like, when I was young, everyone seemed to be happy. There used to be identities, mods, rockers. Mm. There was characters of people. But I don't see much of that anymore. There's no culture because it's all been crushed by that Simon Cowell and that. Um, rock and roll. People like the Beatles and Elvis Presley wouldn't get a look in today because of him. He wants to control everything, you see? In the entertainment world. And the people, what he does pick up on and exploits and promotes, they've got no talent anyway. They're useless. The people with talent and that, there's plenty of people out there, groups and that playing in pubs, but they never get anywhere because of him. Talent is being held back. It's money again. Yeah, but the main issue it's, is people are not allowed to be themselves anymore because they've got to be a certain side They're criteria. mainly suppressed by society if, and rules and regulations. If people have, have an argument with their partner, they're, they're, they're labelled bad. If they have an argument with their daughter, they're labelled bad. Yeah. But this has been happening for years. Why yes. is it Why is it so public now? It shouldn't be public. Because they've... They, they modicoddle and over politically correct everything. You can't say this, you can't do that, you can't do this. And people are running scared. Basically, at the end of the day, people don't know their own civil rights, what they can do by law and can't. It's got to the situation where we don't know this world anymore. Um, it's not the world that I remember. When I was born in 1975, I used to see so much culture all around. I used to see punks, mods, rockers. People with culture and class. People don't know the common sense, what's right and what's wrong. They can't decide that. I'll give you my card if you want, because we're always rad making videos. Here you go, look. Don't be a mystery to us. What's your name? Millie. Hello, Millie. Can I put you on my film? Hello, Millie, how are you? What did you gather from our conversations? Did you see that we're like bloggers and... What motorcycle do you ride? I've got a little head. Oh. You can, nice see that we're, down, you can see that we're men of uh, culture and class. Yep. That is my card. Nice to meet you, Millie. Please add me and tell me anything that needs addressing, yeah? Thank you. Lovely to meet you, Millie. And hopefully we'll meet you again. There's a lovely lady we just met. Her name was Millie. And I'm glad that she, like, acknowledged us. And I can include her in my film. I mean, the world has changed. There are people like Millie still. Nice people like Millie. There's a lot of people that just stick their nose up and they haven't got a clue. Yeah, I What's it to do with them anyway? I sit here, right? If I come in town, sometimes an hour having a cigarette and a, a cold drink, and people come up to me and touch my jacket, studs and things go, oh, I just had to touch them. But if I went up to that lady and done that, touched her jacket, she'd phone the police. But I don't. You know? The world has basically got very mentally weird. Loads of people are on antidepressants, loads of people are on drugs, addicted to alcohol, cigarettes, or to their selves. There's more to life, ladies and gentlemen. This world doesn't have to change as much as what it is. We can look after it, we can look after each other, and we can really make a difference. And that is all I want from people in life. And I'm not interested in any jealousy or any hate or any people that are something that they are not. What I am interested in is real genuine people making the most of life, like me and Uncle Dean. All you've got to do with life is live. You don't need anything but good health and actual life. That's the only thing. There's no good heaven life and you're in bad health. That's the most important thing is the quality of life, is your health and a lifespan. Your health and freedom are the most important things. Yeah. People are blinded by things like mortgages, um, work, paying the bills, and that's the way society, the government, powers to be, keep people in line and order. The more they've got, 
more they are scared of losing that, so they stay in line, don't question nothing. See, this is that music, James Brown. Back then, people, you, they'd be going like this in the street, digging it. People were too scared to put one All right, Rob, me and, me and Uncle Dean are busy. We're doing something, but I'm with you in spirit, brother. I'm with you in spirit. Can't come and meet you for a drink. Me and Uncle Dean are doing something else. But we are with you in spirit, brother Rob. Love you, brother, and shine on. Hello, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> that yeah, people just... are too scared to do that. <laughs> you know, they wait about a thousand people on the internet going to faint. Think of them. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here discussing how the world has changed. But me and Uncle Dean haven't changed. And many of you people haven't changed either. Don't that... let the system think for you, think for yourself. And question everything. And don't take yes or no as an answer. Think about it, make your own decisions. Don't let other people decide for you. Love you, Rob, next time. Inbox me when you're next around. I'll definitely come and see you. I miss you, Rob. Shine on, brother. Shine on, Rob. So this video is called the world and how how it's like changing and like how I haven't changed but well we're, we're, we're all going fast but we're going nowhere fast people they're all rushing about to get from A to B do this and do that and what end result have they got at the end of that nothing but stress aggravation and that puts them in bad health you know they become a victim You've got to take care of yourself, ladies and gentlemen. You've got to be yourself and you can't be no one else. To so stand up for your rights and stand up for yourself and don't be nobody else. And from me and Uncle Dean, shine on. Shine on.